Everything has to work in sequence. Um, there's three trains running down the tunnel. They're working about uh, 24 hours a day, six days a week. This is not a high-speed rail line. Yes, it is bumpy. It's really loud, and I think it's important to note that this is the commute. And there's about 15 people up at the machine, and this is how they commute to work every day. They commute there, and they commute out. This is a 2.7 mile long storage tunnel. Basically the sewer system and the drainage system are, were plumbed together over 100 years ago. There were no treatment plants, they just charged the sewage and everything right into the water bodies. Uh, you will walk through, you will follow me, so now we can go straight. I'm operating the tunnel boring machine. As you can see, the muck's coming out real quick. Uh, we're mining almost at uh, three inches a minute. You know, you gotta counteract, you gotta put positive pressure, but at the same time, not too much. He's mining, the soil's coming up over the top on a conveyor belt, and then it's dropping in where you saw that guy back there. What we're mining through is essentially a, a soil that was deposited and then run over by the last glacier about 15,000 years ago. So we're running through very hard, compressed soil. When he stops mining, he's done for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna see very quickly these guys or gals trying to set those liners in to build the tunnel. To build about five feet of tunnel generally takes about 30 minutes if all goes well. Parts of the tunnel are underneath the roadways. Parts of our underground structures will be under the Burke Gilman Trail. People have no idea what's underneath there. And that's part of the whole realm of utilities. If you look at utilities, you don't see them.